Tim, give us a, a, an example of a success that you haven't already mentioned. People can take away with them. I, I naturally tend to think around, around Janet and the network. But uh, I, I'll give you one example, which is a simple one, uh, is the Norman Help Desk. Mm -hmm. That came out of the yeah. Higher Education Funding Council Shared Service Group. Very simple. You know, we have so many help desks. It's a classic place of optimization in any enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many help desks, but actually 24 hours was not something institutions wanted to do anyway, because I don't know if you've been near a campus about 3 o'clock on a Friday, but there's not too many people left after that. Um, yeah. No, do I don't go there either. Do that. Do <laughs> so, 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 it's one of those known unknowns. Yeah. <laughs> the, people, the people at Northumbria saw an opportunity here. They needed to do it. And they thought, well, it's very expensive if we just do it for us. Why don't we start sharing it? One of the great upsides of this community is if you've got a good idea, the marketing is quite cheap because yeah. it's viral. Yeah. And people go to conferences, quite extraordinary for a competitive environment. People go to conferences, tell them what their successes are and how they could do it mm. too. Mm. So there's an advantage there. So I would say that's a very simple okay. but effective advantage. Chris, same question to you. Um, I, I was going to mention a technology one. Where we've got this amazing Moodle environment with two and a quarter um, million students on it. But actually I'm going to talk about... Um, one that we've just um, gone live with and has been a huge uh, take up for um, and it's, it's the HR investigation and mediation service. If you think about your, your local institution, often you are hauled out as a manager to go and investigate another department's um, grievance or, or disciplinary issue. You've been taken out of your workplace, you don't know the territory and you'd be rather getting on with your day job. Um, we've now sort of built a team of investigators and mediators um, that they can work across London. It's had huge take up across all of London. This is not just the University of London. Um, it's reducing uh, legal costs. It's a collaborative environment. Mm. It isn't a customer mm. supplier relationship. It is, it is a very, very collegial and collaborative environment. And it just seems to work. Okay. Andrew, an example? I'd talk about potential more. And I think that is in registry functions. I believe that universities aren't as different as we like to say mm. we are. Uh, we use very si similar systems and processes for handling things like student records, student profiles, admissions data, and that kind of thing. And there's no reason why we should stand alone to such a great Aren't extent. they already all held by GCHQ, I just <laughs> <That's right>. assumed <laughs> recently? That's the disaster recovery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so merging, merging registry funds? Particularly the transactional aspects, yes. Okay. And one final one from you, Steve? Well, um, let's talk about one that I have just mentioned, which is British University's Film and Video Council, where they take downloaded content uh, for their member institutions, the user institutions, and that enhances the student experience because within lectures, lectures can pull that content down without actually embedding it within their, their lecture notes. And there's, there's video that they can see, there's the, um, the service can actually search on keywords within speeches and identify that and get um, cuts of, okay. of pieces of content. Um, and it's really exciting that that can happen.